What is up YouTube, and today we actually pulled Dragon King Shroon. I'm going to be showcasing you her build and how she does in Arena. Now, for her skill enhances, the only thing you really need on her is going to be her S3 up to plus 4, so you get that max chance. Honestly, everything else is a bonus, right? You can get up to 10% more on your stun on your S1, but it's already pretty low anyways at 30 to 40. You can always soul burn it for 100%. Her S2, the combat readiness push for herself only, is... Pretty minor, you don't really need this too much, although ideally you would, you would want this maxed out. The only ones you really need are up to plus 400 S3 for that effect chance to be 100% to land the decreased attack or decreased defense. Two very powerful debuffs. Obviously, decreased defense is very good on, on the Knights and Soul Weavers that it lands on because you can kill them very easily. And the class debuff for Thief, Warrior, Ranger, and Mages, decreased attack really cripples them. Now, she is extremely, extremely powerful into units that have stuns and sleeps like Death Dealer Ray for the most part, sometimes AOL, like I Winter and stuff like that. And you're going to see that this doesn't encompass Provokes, so Provokes will actually not uh, trigger her S2. But when it does trigger, she's going to be very strong for your team. Cascade is very powerful. It is basically a 2500 fixed damage attack that will work on AoEs, also counterattacks, and I'm pretty sure dual attacks as well, which makes her very strong. Now this is the build I have her at. It's not like the best build. I don't really know where I'm going with this, um, but I have her on speed set. I'm pretty sure you can run around counter set. For the secondary set, you probably want health or effectiveness or effect resist, any of those three. Uh, I'll, she just came out like, you know, like an hour ago, so I'm not really sure how you're supposed to build her, but this is what we're going for. And I just want her decently fast so she can actually cycle her S3 because it's a very strong uh, AoE attack. And I have some bulk on her as, as well. Effectiveness, I think at least 100%. You probably want more to be honest, but I wanted some ER on her because of the fact I don't want her to get CC'd by you know, units, right? And I guess it doesn't really matter if she gets CC'd because you can cleanse it like stuns and sleeps, but I'm kind of scared of like silences and binds, and I know 79% is not enough, but um, I'm pretty sure you want to take out effect resist and go like full effectiveness. Uh, this is the artifact I have her on, Guardian Ice Crystals. Big reason why I have you know 80% effect resist is to get up to 95-ish percent, so I can't get hit by like debuffs from DPS units, but not too sure what the best artifact on her is. I think this one is pretty good. You can probably run her on like Sacred Tree Ranch. It seems pretty good because it gives you effectiveness. And if you build her on Speed Set, you can actually um, you know boost up a team's teammates' combat readiness with the highest attack, which is very nice. I think Sacred Tree Branch might be better, but I'm not too sure. So in that case, I just put on Guardian Ice Crystals. This works on every Soul Weaver, so why not? And we're gonna test her out now and see how she actually does. So here we go. We're gonna test her out against a uh, team with Death Dealer Ray because, of course, she can cleanse the team with, from the sleep, which is very nice. And we're using Bellion with the skin because her skin looks beautiful. I will erase them all. Now I think for a world without she was primarily made as a counter to like SC Arrowell runs its course. and also Death Dealer Ray primarily. What like very very like. sure that she's definitely against this unit Trust because me, as you can see she does cleanse everyone here and wakes them up. The Venom does stick but no one has that uh, annoying ass sleep anymore which is the biggest reason why Death Dealer Ray is so annoying. And then you can actually strip all these buffs that a Death Dealer Ray provides. Same with, um, I guess, Meteor Cowric with his S3, because his S3 is a two-turn buff. So she actually does decent against Meteor Cowric, it looks like, as From well. So you're gonna see S3 here, if I don't get resisted, I should be able to remove most of these buffs. Remove attack buff, right? And also, we have Cascade, so this will do the extra damage. You can see like this damage is crazy and we have attack down on their damage dealers we have defense break here and i still don't even take my turns with these units yet so what i'm gonna do is stun the balona okay try to stun the balona i mean nice and actually what i'm gonna do here is uh, I think this balloon will go before my Bellion, which is unfortunate because I kind of wanted to show you guys my balloon of killing everyone. I'll screw it, we'll go for it anyways. Because like Bellion is very good with her. Anything with AoE is very good, right? Even like Seaside Bellona can be very good with her. Foolish whelp. 
And can I get this stun here? Probably not. You nearly delay the inevitable. Not too strong. Bricks won't work on me. I do get a turn off here, so it's just S3. A conductor exerts Well, it's amazing. Great skin. S tier skin. I'm well aware of what your plan is. And they should do a ton of damage, right? Not really. But we should be able to kill her here. Could have won a lot more easier, but I kinda wanted to see how Cascade works. But yeah, it seems very strong into Death Dealer Ray. Uh, the debuffs that she puts from her um, S3 is actually insane as well, and she seems pretty good against Mira Kaurik with that buff duration decrease. And now I'm going to test her against a team with a stun. I Winter, kind of common on Guild Wars defense. Do get stunned here, we cleanse everyone. Uh, now the thing is, AOL will still strip me. But keep in mind this can't really get stripped, right? And by doing this, S3 here, maybe Navy Captain Landy counters me and I can do stuff. Counter attack, so I actually do see I push. Very nice. And I do pull oh, another counter attack. And this will all get cleansed. So you can kind of see AOL seems pretty good against, um, what's it called here? Uh, Dragon King Sharoon, because you can cleanse everything. But the damage will still go through the skill nullifier, like the extra damage. This should probably kill the AOL, honestly. It does. And we can just do this. And with this, I think I just hit the Landy, right? Fix damage, makes all of your healers do a lot. Get a stun here. You can see she's pretty decent at controlling with that stun. Then I can stun here as well. Kinda want Lady to counter me, but it's not really happening. And I guess I don't want Lady to counter here without putting this up. Because then, she, I don't think she'll wipe me, but it's just a lot of damage. Pray I get a crit? Nope. A true knight picks their battles wise. And you can see like Dragon King Shurun, because her S1 has a stun, she punishes pretty slow units. So pretty slow units that can actually uh, proc her S2 with debuffs and like stuns, right? So... But we are just this not just critting game. here, which is unfortunate. For lunch. But if I do From this, and Navy Captain Lane doesn't counter, I think I kill her, right? But now because I say that, she's gonna counter. Oh no. Trial to so this overcome. should kill, right? With the defense break? Blockade oh, complete. very close though. 144 escape. health. But this stuns too, right? So I can actually cleanse. Ooh. Yeah, I can. And then, I think this S1 should kill a Cascade, right? Let me just test. Oh, double Cascade? No, it's just one. Because she didn't have it, I see. So I, I don't know if it works on dual attacks. I assume it does, because there's nothing that says it doesn't work on your own turn. So, you're gonna see this air well as doing a ton of damage. Because of that defense break we got earlier from Sharoon. 5k, and I cascade after that, so. Seems like a pretty good unit. I wouldn't say she's super broken, but if you can get that cascade proc, uh, she's pretty, pretty strong. And her S3 is seems like a very good skill. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this showcase. I think Dragon King Shroon is a pretty fun unit to use. She's actually a little bit better than I thought. I think her S3 is actually pretty strong. Um, but overall, she seems like a good counter pick into those units with a lot of CC and stuns and sleeps. Uh, you can see her it's debuffs which prevent movement, stun, and sleep, so it doesn't work for provokes like I mentioned before. But she's pretty fun to play. I don't think she's worth like going all out for though. She's not game changing like Abyssal Yufine, maybe Captain Landy, Conquer Lias, and stuff like that. She's not in that tier, but I'd say she's like a tier below where she is a pretty strong unit and pretty fun to use. If you guys end up pulling through, let me know down below what you guys build her on, and I'll see you guys next video.